Hey everyone, I'm Raz of the Razplay, and this right here is my Nintendo Entertainment System. As you can see, complete with a copy of Zelda. Now, I would love to play this on my new TV, but I can't. Why? Because this doesn't work anymore. You hook that in, you press the power button, nothing happens. So, what I'm going to show you guys today is how to hook this up to a newer TV and play it in 1080p. All right, now before we go any further, as always, hit subscribe on the channel right now. We need your help to get to 100K. It doesn't take much. Just hit that subscribe button right now. Secondly, hit the bell notification. Whether we put out a new video or we go live because we do live streams, hit the bell notification. You'll know when a new video comes out. You're going to love them. Finally, drop a like. That's what nice people do. Make sure you like the video now. Also, down below in the description, there's going to be links to Amazon. It'll give you the links to all the items you're going to need in this video to get your Nintendo up and running. There won't be a link to an actual Nintendo that you're going to have to buy on eBay if you don't already have one. But as far as all the items we're going to need to get this up and running on a 4K TV or 1080p TV, they'll be down below. So make sure as soon as you see an item that you need, go down below, click the link. There'll be a Canadian link and an American link. Click one of the two, buy the items, get them shipped to you, and you'll be able to do this. Now, let's show you how I pull this off. All right, so let's start off with a list of things that we're going to need for this video. Now, you're probably thinking, Raz, what about this right here? What about the old RF switch? Won't that work? No. No, it won't. So you used to hook this in the back of the TV, maybe hook up cable to the bottom of it, go to channel 3, turn on your Nintendo, everything's fine. But unfortunately, because the signal strength isn't that strong, your newer TVs, especially your 1080p's and your 4K's, might not be able to pick up that signal. If they can't, well, then you can't play Nintendo. So what we're going to need is as follows. First, you're going to need one of these RCA cables. You got your video, and you got your two audio. Secondly, you're going to need one of these right here. It's called an upscaler, it's called an adapter, whatever you want to call it. It's the RCA to HDMI adapter. You use these two right here, hook that up, and you'll be golden. Oh, and finally, you'll also need an HDMI cable, which I will have down below in the description. Now, let's show you how to set it all up. All right, so this right here will be the main focus of the video. This is your RCA to HDMI adapter. This will allow you to go from RCA up to HDMI and have the signal in 1080p so that way you can pick it up on your new TVs. It also has USB power right here and a switch on the side that says either 720p or 1080p. Man, that's stiff. I never change it. So there you go. That'll be your adapter right there. Now, here's how we're going to use this. Number one, plug in your power right there. You've got USB power, right? Perfect. Now, this will either go into your TV, into your power bar if you have a USB in your power bar that you can hook up, or finally, if not that, grab an AC adapter that you'd have maybe for your smartphone, you plug it onto that, if it has the USB hookup to it, you plug it in, you're good to go, it's powered. Secondly, your RCA cable. Now you're only going to need, if you didn't know this, your yellow and your red. Why is that? Here's a surprise for you. Some of you might not even know this exists. See that right there? Now, these types of cables were big in Japan in the 80s, early 90s. But over here in North America, not so much. So we had the old switch box right there, which we can't use, like I said. So we're going to go with the Japanese method, I guess you would call it. Make sense? Yes. All right. So at least when I was a kid, we didn't have that. There was no, none of this was around when this came out. So you did what you did with the RCA or the uh, RS switch. So you're going to go video. There you go. And you got your audio. You only need the two. Don't worry about the white one right here. It won't really matter. All right, so there you go. There's your hookup into your Nintendo. Secondly, we're going to go over to the box here. Now, like I said, you've already got it powered on. It's plugged in into your TV or power bar, whatever the case may be. You're going to put in the red one here for the audio, right? It'll come out as mono. It's fine. And then you've got your video right there. There you go. Now, I'm going to hit pause real quick because I don't want to have to redo all this. Give me one second. All right, now for the next and probably most important step, the HDMI cable. Again, there will be a link down below for everything you see here, including a cable just like uh, this. There you go. There's your HDMI cable. Now, you're used to these hooking into DVD players, video game systems, stuff like that. You're going to take this, and you've got the output right there. See that? Good, good, good. All right, perfect. So you're going to take the HDMI cable, plug it in right there, and then you're going to take the other side and simply plug it into your TV, whether it be... HDMI 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever the case may be. Plug that into your TV, and there you go. So now what you're going to do is if you put it into HDMI 1. Go into source on your TV. Go to HDMI 1. I'll explain this very quickly. Go to HDMI 1. Have that on. And then once that's all done, Nintendo's plugged in. Everything's fine. You're going to go in. You're going to hit the power button. Boom. She'll work. Now, that's not plugged in, obviously, but it will work. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to disconnect from all this. I'll get this all hooked up to the TV, and I'll show you guys how it's going to work with some Zelda. 
And now a word from our sponsor, and that sponsor, well, it's me. Now, we've already said how you can subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, drop a like to help us out as well as commenting down below, but there's two other ways that you can help us out right now if you so choose. Number one, we have a merch store. It has things like a fanny pack, leggings, t-shirts, a really cool water bottle. It's got so many things that you can pick from. Head down to the link below, check out the merch store, and maybe pick something up. And secondly, you can become a member of the channel now. For just $2.99 a month Canadian, you can get a membership, join the channel, get some emojis, badges, show off, and really help us out. So those are two ways as well as the subscribing and everything else. So thank you so much if you choose to help. If not, it's still cool. Thanks for watching the video. Now, let's get back at it. All right, here we are going to show you the final setup. Like I said, you got the RC cable there, going to the box over here. The power is coming off there. There's the HDMI cable there. We got it hooked up to HDMI 4. And if you'll notice, pardon the glow there. If you'll notice, turn the power on. You hear the sound, and there you go. There's some Zelda. Now, let's head over and we're gonna recap over at the desk. All right, to sum everything up, like I said, to hook up your NES to a 4K TV, you will need RCA cables. You'll need, obviously, Nintendo. You'll need the upscaler and an HDMI cable. So like I said, you hook this on the other side into the Nintendo, put this into the upscaler. Here's the power, goes to USB or an AC adapter. I might include that down in the description as well, just in case you don't have one. HDMI cable into the TV, power on, put it on the source. There you go. You're good to go. Now, like I said before, if I helped you out in any way at all, make sure you hit subscribe right now. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.